Well, say hello to having your batteries last much longer, and uh, this is actually a problem that has plagued the battery industry since, uh, I don't know, batteries were developed. Well, as you know, like if you have a battery and you put it in your, whatever, one of these electronic devices, and it says 1.5 volts, effectively when it gets down to 1.3 volts, the battery is dead, even though it has about 80% of the power left in there, the chemical power. Well, this little device is called a battery de batteryizer, and uh, what it is, is it will step up the voltage uh, to um, 1.5 volts from the 1.3 volts or 1.2 volts or even 0.6 volts so that the device that the batteries put in will work. And it's patented technology, so in other words, it slips, in other words, this is a little device, it slips over the battery. And the voltage step-up technology has been around a long time, but it's never been miniaturized this small, whereby you have a little device that you can slip over the battery and step the voltage up. But as you can figure, the battery industry is not really welcoming this de uh, device because the battery industry with disposable batteries is a billion, in the billions of dollars a year. So this is actually going to be out in September 2015. It's patented technology. Actually, it's not. It's miniaturized technology. It's not really a new idea now. To, I think it's patented because it's patented because of uh, the, the technology's gotten small. But it's going to cost. Here's the other thing. These it's reusable. In other words, if you buy a pack of 40s will be it'll be ten dollars approximately two dollars and fifty cents and it just slips right over the outside of the battery and in other words the battery can last six to eight times longer than normal because you're using up all the chemical power in that battery so for instance if it's at you know, if it starts off at 1.5 volts or maybe even 1.6, actually, a lot of times the Duracells or whatever, the energizers are higher voltage right from the beginning. And then when it gets down to 1.3 volts, effectively, the device that it's put in really won't work unless it's a flashlight and it looks fairly dim. Now, when what happens is this add-on device that's on the outside of the battery, effectively will step up the voltage from the 1.3 to 1.5 volts and keep stepping up the voltage as the chemical reaction in the battery you know diminishes and the actual battery voltage is going from like 1.3 to 1.2 to 1.1 to 1 you know down to like 0.6 or whatever the the electronics in this little add-on sleeve will step the voltage up to 1.5 volts output so the battery effectively can last six to eight times longer so that means people are going to be buying about maybe one third to uh, one fourth the amount of number of batteries that they've been buying before and uh, I'm sure this device is not being very well, well welcomed by the battery manufacturers but it's going to be out in September 2015 that's the projected date and also, um, the device is fairly durable. It looks durable. It's like metal. It's fairly strong. I mean, you have to like really try to abuse the device to break it. It's not going to break that easily. Um, it looks like the electronics are basically on a uh, positive electrode side. That's what it appears to be to me. Um, and this is just a metal strip that connects the positive to the negative. So all the electronics are actually up in here. I don't think you're going to be able to break this too easily unless you're deliberately trying to break it. So in other words, once you buy, say, four of these for $10, that's the estimated retail price, um, you can use them over and over again. So the batteries will last, you know, three to four times longer. So, or excuse me, six to eight times longer, actually. So it's, it's going to cut down the amount of batteries that people buy and uh, the other advantage too I would imagine too is because you know rechargeable batteries are actually by their nature they're always in increments of 1.2 volts so in other words if you have 
double uh, A battery. It's it's uh, normally 1.5 for the regular alkaline or standard battery. If it's a rechargeable, it's 1.2 volts. And a lot of times when you use these rechargeable batteries in other devices, they don't work that well because the voltage is too low. Uh, well, this would step it up to the 1.5 also. So that's you know one of the things that's a problem with rechargeable batteries. They put out a little bit less voltage than conventional batteries. So anyway, uh, this is actually a, a boon for consumers. Uh, not going to be a boon for the uh, battery industry unless they come up with something else. I don't know what they're going to do, man. Come up with more devices that use batteries because we got to increase demand somehow now because... Well, you never know. I mean, that probably might be the net effect. I mean, they shouldn't worry too much because a lot of times people don't use battery-operated devices because they have to constantly change batteries. But then again, if the batteries last six to eight times longer, um, and the other thing is you, you alleviate the disadvantage of using rechargeable batteries, and that actually makes them step them back up. That steps them up to the... Uh, the same as the conventional batteries of 1.5 volts, it would actually encourage people to use more battery-operated devices. So, I mean, you know, that's one thing, too. I mean, actually, the battery industry is probably going to take a lot of hits in a lot of different ways because a lot of freaking um, devices now that you see, like even flashlights and other little... Um, radios and you know electronic devices to play music and stuff they have a lot of solar panels you can use with them and battery packs that are solar panels and you can charge your cell phone with solar panels so you know it's actually going to come to the point where um even battery technologies will be obsolete but this is cool because this is actually something that's going to be available in a few months and it's going to greatly enhance the capabilities of conventional batteries. Um, so, just figured I'd put it out here because uh, I figured it was a damn interesting, very and very useful invention. Um, I think it's going to be on batteryizer.com is where it's going to be. I'm not doing a commercial for it or nothing, but I think that's where it's going to be, where you can do the uh, orders in a few months and I, I'm assuming you'll be able to just buy it on the internet and a lot of different places and you know maybe not be involved in, in, in the big box stores right away but uh, to me this is going to be one of those common household type things that everybody's going to get because it's going to save a lot of money on batteries and a lot of times when you have these flashlights laying around the batteries are dead and, and they're not really dead the voltage is like one volt this will step it up to the 1.5 volts and uh, in other words those uh, flashlight batteries and flashlights you keep in your car and all that type of stuff they'll you know they get destroyed from the heat this will make it last much longer so fantastic idea fantastic idea it's always they always had voltage step up devices but they never were able to make them so miniature before and you can see it's actually the very top of it probably look at this illustration here it's the very top of it that has the circuitry that steps up the voltage but uh, it's not really a delicate device or anything like that so uh, you know it's it, you'll be should be able to reuse it many 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 times over for two dollars and fifty cents per battery I think it's gonna be well worth it